you today I am going to be reading the Bible with me of course with my friend Lucas so we will be introducing him in a different video but first I need to tell you guys that I'm going to be starting a series of me reading different parts of the Holy Bible we are gonna read until day six. Yeah, yeah. So we're getting which is going, which is, we're gonna be the entire part of the beginning of the world. And also, guys, you might see that there's a completely white screen here. Um, yeah, I can move my camera around. Now it's right in the middle here. Now I did this because um, it will focus on you they all just focus on me if I just can keep it in the middle ah fine okay, let's just put it where it was so the reason okay now uh, first I want to read some things so yeah we're reading Genesis which most people think it was written by by Moses which I could agree it was written in 1445 to 1400 BC. It was written to explain the beginning of all things, how God created the world, how sin entered the world, and how, how, and how and why God created humans. It also explains how God chose one family to become a great nation. Also, it talks about the history, well, yeah, it talks about the history of creation, the temptation and fall of man, Noah and the great flood, Abraham's life and story, stories of Isaac, Jacob, and Esau, and the stories of Joseph in Wait, Egypt. Yeah. People also think, like, to get black people, they think they burnt the baby, which isn't true. Yeah, it's not true. God made everyone different. individually different. Yeah, because if, if even you twins say. are different. Yeah, in a, in a way. If they're all, if we're all the same, it'd be so boring. Yes. Also, I'm going to read another part here that says, The book of Genesis tells the story of God and his relationship with the creation from the beginning of time. It's all about the beginnings. The beginning of the universe, the beginning of all humans, the beginning of sin, the beginning of God's promises and plans for salvation, the, and the beginning of, special, of, the, of a special relationship between Abraham and God. Now, we are going to be reading Genesis 1-1 to Genesis 1-31. Both of us will be doing it. You I'm read going it, you'll to read, read until... Gonna, you're going to read until day three, and I'll read until day six. Yeah, we're going to be seven. read until day one, and he's going to read until day six. Actually, you can read till day one. Till day three. I'll, I, you can do three. I'll, do, I'll be last. Since I'm... Okay. The beginning of the world... In the beginning, God created the sky. He created the sky and the earth. The earth was empty and had no form. Darkness covered the ocean, and God's spirit was moving over the water. Then God said, let there be light, and there was light. God saw that the light was good, so he divided the light from the darkness. God named the light day and the darkness night. Evening passed and morning came. This was the first day. Then God said, let there be something to, something to divide water into two. So God made the air to divide the water in two. Some of the water was above the air and some of the water was below it. God named this air sky. Evening passed and morning came. This was the second day. I lost my spot. Okay. Then God said, let there be wa let the water under the sky be gathered together so the dry land will appear and it happened god named the dry land earth he named the water that was gathered together seas god saw that this was good then god said let the let the earth produce plants some plants will make grain for other seeds other plants will make fruits with seeds in it every seed will produce more of its own kind of plant and it happened. The earth produced plants. Some plants had grains for seeds. The trees made fruit with seeds in it. Each seed grew its own kind of plant. God saw that 
all of this was good. Evening passed and morning came. This was the third day. Lucas's turn to read. <clears throat> then God said, let there be lights in the sky to separate day from night. These lights will be used for signs, seasons, days, and years. They will be in the sky to give light to the earth, and it happened. So God made the two large lights. He made the brighter light to rule the day. He made the smaller light to rule the night. On the, to rule the night, yeah. He also made the stars. God made, put all these in the skies to shine on the earth. They are to rule over the day and over the night. He put them there to separate the light from the darkness. God said, saw that all these things were good. Evening passed and morning came. This was the fourth day. Then God said, let the water be filled with living things, and let birds fly in the air above the earth. So God created the large sea animals. He created every, every living thing that moves in the sea. The sea is filled with these living things. Each one produces more of its own kind. God also made every bird that flies, and each bird produces more of its own kind. God saw that this was good. God blessed them and said, Have many young ones and grow in numbers. Fill the water up the seas and let the birds grow in, the, in numbers, number of the earth. Evening passed and morning came. This was the fifth day. Then God said, Let the earth be filled with animals and let each produce more of its own kind. Let there be tame animals and small crawling animals and, uh, and wild animals. And let each produce more of its, own, of its kind. And it happened. So God made the wild animals, the tame, tame, tame animals, and all the small crawling animals to produce more of their own kind. God, then God said, let us make humans beings in our image and likeness and then and let them rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky let them rule over the tame animals over the all the earth and over all the small crawling animals on the earth so god create so god created human beings in his image in the image of God, he created them. He created them male and female. God blessed them and said, Have many children and grow in numbers. Have Fill the earth and be its master. Rule over the fish in the sea and over the birds in the sky. Rule over every living, living thing that moves on the earth. God said, Look, I have given you all the plants that have grain for seeds, and I have ga gave, given you all the trees who, whose fruits have seed in them. They will be food for you. I have given all the green plants to all the animals to eat. It, to eat. They will be food for every wild animal, every bird of the air, and every small crawling animal <clears throat> and it happened god looked at everything he had ma had made and it was every good it was very good evening passed and morning came this was the sixth day and that was the end of the part that we were going to be reading today. Should we end off with prayer? Yeah. Lord's Prayer? You yeah, know we should. But first, I'd like to say some things. Guys, I wanted to do the series because some of you guys might not know much about God. 
and I want you guys to learn about him, which is why um, I read, we were reading this today. Are you on your phone? No, I'm not. Oh, okay, you were just seeing what time it was. And so, yeah, some of you guys, yeah, you guys might not know about him much, so we want you guys to learn about him, right? Yeah. The, yes. I want to say some things too. Mm -hmm. The reason I helped out, I want the people, I want the people who don't know a lot about God and Jesus, I want them to be aware of what Jesus did for us, for dying on the cross for our sins for our in saving us for our sins mm -hmm. i'm very happy like we're we got saved uh yeah we've both been saved yeah he's been uh, baptized i'm about to be um and i'm very happy that god and jesus came into our lives mm -hmm. well i think it's time for us to do a quick prayer so, or are okay. we going to do the Lord's Prayer? You know that one? So, here. Uh, okay. Do you want to do it? you want to start it off? We could do the Lord's Prayer. I'll teach you it. Here, no, here. You can say it. Here. You want to say it? The whole Lord's Prayer? No, it would. Yeah. And then I can say some extra stuff. You want me to? Yeah. Okay. Oh, right. We have to hold hands. Why are you on your phone? I'm not on my phone. I'm checking what time it is. Did you, did you forget the what? Did you All right. All right. We have to hold hands. No. We have oh. to. Doing the. Yes. We just have to do this. Okay, let's do this. Our Father, who art in heaven, uh, who art in heaven, hallowed be the, thy name. The king, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it in, is in heaven. Give us our, day, our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as forgive people who trespass against us. Amen. Amen. Well, it's not all of the Lord's Prayer, but yeah. Well, that was a good prayer. We're going to be doing that prayer every day while we're recording these videos. I'm going to memorize it so I can finish it all. Hopefully you guys had a great time watching this. Hopefully you guys learned something. Make sure to like and subscribe and bye.